the Honorable Member for Siaya County, Christine Ombaka. Um, thank you, Madam Speaker, for this opportunity. I'd like to um, air my views on this matter. It's a grave matter that has been there for years, and there's never been any solution to this problem. Women suffer a lot. A lot of them are quiet. A lot of them are silent because they feel ashamed, because they don't get any help. And so they are dying in their hearts with the harassment that they go through. Harassment starts with just staring at a woman, just staring. It makes you so uncomfortable. That is sexual harassment. Somebody just watching you everywhere you go. His eyes are on you, touching you, somebody winking at you. All these are harassment. Maybe the people who do this, the men who do this, may not realize how harassing it is. But that is enough to harass a woman. Just stare, just touch her, just wink at her. Those are harassment. And we need to know their definition of sexual harassment and sexual abuse. The women who are abused, who are raped, can't even talk because the trauma is too high. The embarrassment is so high. Our society is such that women are seen as sex objects. That whatever a woman wants from you, you must do something first. She must offer some favors. She wants a job, she must sleep with you. She wants promotion, she must sleep with you. Everything is sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. And women are harassed. And as you are harassed, again, it is you who are victimized. They don't even think that a man actually is at fault, that the man is the perpetrator of some of these vices. But they don't, they don't think that is the case. They tend to turn around and say that women are the ones who are exposing themselves to some of these vices. It's not true. Women are simply harassed. Women are so helpless. They don't know where to report. And if they do, they don't even receive any help. So my contribution here is that please let's teach our society. Let us teach everyone, both men and women, that women are, should be respected just like we respect the men. Let there be no harassment. And something that has recently came, the modern way of communication, social media, there's got to be some break into this. It's just not even talking about a woman. Pictures are created. There is uh, what they call um, the one that, you know, Photoshop. Uh, your face emerges and you don't know. And this is somebody's action. And somebody just does a Photoshop and it's supposed to be you. Then the whole world start talking about you. It's terrible. Even as politicians, we campaign negatively against women. And they're all talking about sexual harassment. Women are harassed even politically. When we go to campaign against fellow men, we are ch just trying to con contest. And it's an innocent thing. You win. And I go home when you beat me at it. But the men will take it seriously and abuse you sexually will make you feel so small that you don't deserve that seat but all what they're talking about you is just sex 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 that you are immoral that you are a prostitute that you are this and that i think the image of women has gone down because the men don't seem to appreciate the good part of the women please have some respect for women and know that human rights Women's rights are also human rights. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. The Honorable Member for Moyale, Honorable Guyo Jaldeza. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me a chance to contribute to this motion. I do support the committee report on uh, sexual violence against women, be it in Kericho, be it in uh, women who are pick, selling fish around